Hey Pilots, Drain Man here. Today I have a very special video. Today I'm going to show you guys how to do two-stage arming, also known as pre-arming, or pre-arm, whatever you want to call it. Also, something very cool you can do is Mr. Steel does something called idle luck. And that's where the idle on his quad is kept low so his arm switch doesn't work. And what he has to do is he has to move this switch, which is a three-position switch, he puts it to the center, and then his idling comes up or minimum command or minimum throttle comes up to a point where he can then arm his quad and take off and fly. It's a very safe feature but also if you're a KISS pilot and you're just used to arming like that it's nice to be able to do that even if you got a beta flight quad. So today I'm going to show you guys how to do that no matter what the reason is why you want to do it who cares that's your prerogative let's do it. <music> Now, there is also about five videos out on how to do this. They don't show you how to do it the way I'm going to show you how to do it. They make you do it on the momentary switch, but you can if you want. You can still follow the same set of instructions I'm going to give you. But the main problem with those videos are they're not in English. How am I going to learn how to do this if I speak English? I mean, if you don't know how to do it and you don't speak all those other languages and you want to learn how to do it, then this is the video for you. Today I'm going to show you guys how to do it real quick. Let's go ahead and dive right in. Alright, first thing pilots, go ahead and power up your Tyrannus and Welcome let's go ahead. PX. What we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to set up our Switch modes. Warning. If you know how to set up modes and you're good, go ahead and do that. If you don't know how to do it, then follow me real quick. We're going to set up our modes. So first thing we need to do is we need to go over to the inputs tab. Pick where you want to put your arming switch. If you already have that set then you're good. I'm going to click here and I'm going to choose this as my arming switch. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit exit, exit, exit. Then I'm going to go down and I'm going to pick where I want to put my pre-arm switch. So where do you want your pre-arm switch? If you want to roll like Mr. Steel then you're going to want to pick this one. Me, I want to pick this one because I want to roll like Steel Davis. If you want to use the momentary, feel free to flick that switch. If you want to put it here, if you want to put it here, put it wherever you want to put it. Shit, you can put it on this if you want. Put it anywhere you want to put it. But me, I want mine right there. So I'm going to roll with that. I'm going to press enter and then I'm going to press exit exit. So now we have our arming switch and we have our pre-arming switch. You chose the ones that you wanted. Alright, next thing you're going to do is you're going to hit page and now we're over in the mixer. And here we're going to do something very simple. You're going to press enter, exit. Down, enter, exit. Go ahead and exit all the way out and now it's time to jump into beta flight. Okay pilots, now you're over in beta flight. I want you to go ahead and hook your quad up to beta flight. All right, now that you have done that, if your receiver is live because you've plugged into beta flight, and what that means is your flight controller works off of 3.3 volts, and some flight controllers have a designated 3.3 pad that they allow you or guide you to solder your receiver to. If you've done that, you'd be able to control your receiver without powering up your quad. So if your quad is set like that, then you're good to go. You don't need to power up your quad. If your quad is not set like that, then have a battery handy. If your VTX is in, we're not going to go ahead and power up just yet because we don't want to burn up our VTX. Head over to the modes tab. Now you are in the modes tabs. The first thing you're going to do is power up your Tyrannus. Welcome to OpenTX. Next thing you're going to do is you are going to click add range for arm because you need to set your arm up. If your receiver is not lit, go ahead and power it up. Go ahead and click this and you can move it to auto unless you know which auxiliary you're on. Put your arm where you want it. So me, I want my arm here. This is when I will be armed. If you're not sure how to do this, I do have a video on how to set up modes and switches. I'll link it in the video description below. Okay, so now that you have your arm set, head down to where it says pre-arm. Go ahead and add range for pre-arm. Then set it on auto and move the switch that you have selected for your pre-arm. Unless you already know which auxiliary it's on. For example, mine's on two, so I could have just went to two. Next thing you want to do is pick the position in which you want it in. So if it's a momentary switch, you're going to hold it up and then move this to where the yellow is when it's in that held position. So right now I'm holding the switch up. 
I'm going to move the yellow there, and when I let go of the switch, it's back over here. If you have a momentary switch. Some people like that. You can kind of like hold the momentary, boom, then arm, then get on with your life or your flight, whatever you want to do. Me, I want to rock the Mr. Steel status, idle up, kind of similar wannabe status type stuff. And what that is basically is that is where that three position switch by the arm switch is in the center position. Which means you can't accidentally bump it and have it up or accidentally bump it and have it down because whichever position you're in, it's not going to arm. You have to actually grab that switch and precisely set it in the middle. Once you have done that, then your arm will become active. What I want you guys to do after you set this up is go ahead and hit save. After you've hit saved, see this is telling me my pre-arm, so it's not going to let me arm, number one, because I'm connected to the configurator, but number two, because first I need to pre-arm, then I should be able to arm. So you guys can go ahead and unplug well first hit save always hit save once you hit save disconnect unplug your quad disconnect so you're no longer connected to the configurator on the floor props off and give her a test be quiet don't talk while i'm talking it's rude then go ahead and set that puppy on the floor give it a pre-test make sure it's working just to recap we went ahead and we set up pre-arm and there's plenty of reasons why one would do that you have your reason why you're watching this video and you did it to your quad and I think that's awesome because I set it up on mine. I hope you guys enjoyed this very short, sweet tutorial and I'll see you on the next one.